Welcome to Local Point, your life, your stories, with your host, David Gale. Hello and welcome to Local Point. I'm your host, David Gale, and with me in the studio today is Jill Boyd and Angie May with OUR. They're a local group. They're going to be putting on a 5K run and a movie night for some really special reasons. So let's get right to it. Welcome, ladies, Jill and Angie. Thank you. OUR. Uh, what does it stand for? Uh, who are you? Operation Underground Railroad. It is a nonprofit organization started by Tim Ballard um, back in December of 2013. Okay. He quit his job as a special ops um, and started rescuing those children from the sex slave that were, um, I guess, they fell through the cracks. Okay. Um, through the red tape, there, there was children he could not get to. Um, when he was working for, I'm going to check my notes, when he was working for um, Homeland Security. Okay. Yeah, you know what, I, I think I've seen uh, recent news stories. I mean, this has come to light pretty recently that he's done a lot of work and has saved a lot of kids. Right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. 521 victims. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. And so you guys are branching out or, or a part of that organization then? Well, um, essentially we're called abolitionists so we're volunteers I went to the website and I asked what I could do and there's um, a little um, spot on their website where you can volunteer so okay. I'm a normal person I am a piano teacher I'm a musician and I am a volunteer to help with these kids you saw a need yep. and locally said what can I do to help out in this situation so when we talk about the need you know sometimes when we think about um, slave trafficking, child, children being used in, in such terrible ways, you know, we're in Una County, and we're mm -hmm. like, right. or Duchesne County, and it's like, right. well, that can't be happening there. This mm -hmm. is, you're talking <laughs> about Thailand or something, right? right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Angie, maybe you can tell us a little bit about what really happens here in our country. Right, and I actually pulled some statistics uh, statistics and I found that um, globally the average cost of a slave is ninety dollars. Wait, so to like purchase somebody? to purchase a person is ninety dollars. Yeah. So, um, according to the U.S. State Department, um, their estimates are there are between six hundred to eight hundred thousand people being trafficked across international borders every year. Of that, eighty percent are female, and half of those are children. So, three hundred to four hundred thousand children are being trafficked currently. Um, they say that most of the children that get trafficked enter it as runaways between the ages of ten and eighteen. Um, Seventy-five percent of those are girls that are runaways, and then they're getting picked up in sexual in the sexual trafficking business. And those girls are usually coming from homes where they have been sexually abused already. And so the sex trafficking is actually the third largest international crime right now. Um, it's third only to drugs and arms. Wow. It's, it's heartbreaking. It's crazy. Um, and so we can assume that kids who run away or not from mm -hmm. our area could end up uh, integrated into that system. Right. right. Well, you think about the news stories that we've had locally where you have um, young children getting sexually abused. Now, these children... Um, they then run away and could possibly be picked up and preyed upon by the, the traffickers to end up in that sexual trade business. So OUR mm -hmm. uh, is an organization that's, that's attempting to stop that, attempting to get that information even out there. Locally, what does that mean? These kids are so helpless. They have no one that they can turn to except for if somebody will reach out and help them. And that's mm -hmm. what Tim Ballard's doing. And that's what we can do um, to help. Sure. Right. And from what I understand, OUR is actually trying to expand their reach to the United States. Currently, they've been working internationally. Um, but they're trying to partner with local law enforcement agencies um, to go find those kids and extract them from those situations and then provide them with the resources they need to recover from being in that type of situation. Well, it's a, it's a fantastic cause, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that when we come back, as well as the 5K and the movie night that OUR is going to be putting on here locally. So stay with us after this break. We'll talk a little bit more.
Welcome back to Local Point. Uh, before the break, we were discussing OUR and their efforts to help uh, um, eliminate, really, the sex slave trafficking ring uh, globally, but most uh, assuredly right here in our own country. Um, Emily Pedersen has now joined us as well. Thank you for joining us, Emily. Thank we're going to get to some of the things that you have to say in a second. But first, um, you're going to be having a, a movie night um, here pretty soon where you're going to be showing a movie that's uh, got the founder of OUR in it. And we'd like to quickly uh, throw to that movie, if we could, uh, at least a little clip from it. So watch this. The first time Abraham Lincoln met Harry Beecher Stowe, he said to her, so you're the little lady who started this war. Lincoln understood. It wasn't him, it wasn't the government that ultimately eradicated slavery. It was people, people who rose up. People like Harriet Beecher Stowe, who wrote a book, inspired millions. Others became abolitionists. Some started the Underground Railroad and physically extracted slaves. Others did what they could. Some just hung a lantern on their church or their home to tell the world that they were a safe haven for escaped slaves. We all need to do something. We made a movie. Now it's your turn. So, Jill, maybe you could tell us a little bit about uh, who it was we just watched and uh, what the video is, the movie that you're going to be showing. Sure. So Tim Ballard is um, the, I guess the head honcho is the organization. And um, the movie is going to be playing here in Vernal on May 16th. It's called The Abolitionists. It's an invitation to all of us to see what's really going on in the world, open our, to our eyes, eyes about that, and also to um, do something about it. Yeah, sure. And that's really what you, how you guys have gotten involved, is by taking a step and saying, look, we recognize, we see something, now we're going to do it. Or at least we're going to do something, whatever we can do. And that was kind of the point of the video there, that we each do something. Um, you also have a uh, 5K. Uh, run coming up uh, in support of this? Right. Yes, that's scheduled for July 15th. It's going to be a night run. And we've got um, some music coming. We've got some um, local uh, support that we're going to be doing. She's uh, Emily, go ahead and talk about that. We're going to be having a food drive. And okay. my son is going to be in charge of this for his Eagle Scout project the oh, board nice. for the UN Basin Board of Realtors. So through the month of July, he's going to be collecting food. And then we are going to have him there that night to collect food also as part of the run for our local food pantry, which is in great need. Okay. And we'll also have a trailer for the women's shelter, which very much ties into you know, exiting out of the life that you're currently in to get a new life. Right. In fact, uh, Emily, you had some, maybe some more information on those uh, shelters for women. Um, I think that was Jill. Not that currently. Oh, yeah. okay. She's, Emily's in charge of the food bank. Yeah. Okay. And gotcha. I'm, d I'm doing the women's trailer. That's yeah. So uh, I'm not sure that I got the date and time for the movie and, and where that's going to be happening. The movie is May 16th okay. at, um, I'm not sure if the time we'll have to check with the movie theater should uh, in Vernal. Oh, it's going to be shown the, at the local yes, movie theater? Yes, at the local movie theater. Okay, uh, May 16th? Yes. Uh, and you pay a ticket to come in or is yes, it Yes, uh, you pay a ticket and that is your way of doing something about okay, it. Okay, good. Yeah, I mean, that's the first step that people can take and then they can yes. get involved in maybe this, uh, this run. Right. Okay, right. And, and remind me of the date and time of that. And that is July 15th, um, 8 p.m. At 7 p.m. you can come and donate items to the women's shelter or the food bank. Okay, uh, the food bank. Uh, how was that going during these economic times? I mean, d could it's you rough. use more help? Yeah, it's <laughs> rough. They are expecting that they're going to need even more food over the next coming months because more and more people are losing their jobs here. And so as part of this, we've teamed up with them and the Bo Basin Board of Realtors to be able to fill those, those shelves because they are in desperate need. Yeah. It's desperate times. So. And this is kind of a uh, first step for OUR here in the Valley. What, what do you hope to this comes from this? I mean, is this going to be a one-time thing or do you, what's the future of OUR here? You know what? I didn't even have plans of running a 5K ever in my life or <laughs> being on a show. So it's pretty exciting that it's happening and we'll see where it goes from there. That's great. And, and maybe there's some of you out there have never wanted to run a 5K in your life ever. This would be a, a definitely a good cause. Um, or you know what? Go see a movie. Take your kids to something that uh, could change their lives and the lives of many others out there who desperately could use, you know, the help getting out of this situation. So thank you very much for joining us today. And, of course, thank you all for watching uh, Local Point. Uh, stay with us. We're going to go to a quick break, and then we're going to have this week's community calendar.
welcome to this week's community calendar presented by your local Vernal Area Chamber of Commerce, building commerce one member at a time. You can go to vernalchamber.com to learn more information about upcoming events. So let's get started with this week's schedule. On May 11th, Uinta County is holding an emergency preparedness meeting at the Uinta County Library at 7 p.m. with guest speaker Brent Gilley. On May 12th, we have the Vernal Chamber annual meeting starting at 6.30 p.m at the beautiful UNA Conference Center. You can purchase tickets in advance by contacting the Vernal Chamber office. On May 13th, we have the 15th annual Strata Networks Golf Classic happening at the Roosevelt Golf Course. You can learn more about that at stratanetworks.com. On May 14th, we have the Vernal Fire Department's annual community breakfast. This is a great thing. Starting at 7 a.m. and going on until 10 a.m., you can go down to the UNA Fire Station on 500 East Main and you get to meet local firefighters and you get a hot breakfast out of it. Also happening on May 14th, we have the Great Artscape at Terra Academy. Dinner starts at 6 p.m. and tickets are $25. You can buy those online or at the door. Thank you for watching Local Point. Be sure to like VTV6 on Facebook and hey, we'll see you here next week.